<coughs> grabbing all this in was um, fairly easy. It was easier than I thought it was going to be. The next thing I need to do is the plumbing for the tub. And what I have discovered is that this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. These stand up higher than I need them to be on the tub, which means that they themselves actually are designed to go through the floor. So all I have to do is slide them into place and then hook them up to the tub. Now what these have on them are, there's like a rubber seal. So there's a rubber seal and a brass washer and then there's um, a nut that will attach to my water lines on the tub. And it pretty much just will slide into place. And then there's a floor flange, obviously. For my drain, I have a nice stainless steel pipe with a nut. Um, there's actually, there's a, there's a seal that goes in here, but that seal actually sits on the top and it will seal as this goes in. So this is correct. It's just a nut and then another floor flange. And we'll slide that into place. That's all I have to do there. Everything else I'm gonna do underneath the house in the crawl space. Um, so the next step is to get the tub ready to go. So I'm going to start off with the tub drain. I believe that this should be set up perfectly for me already, but it is not. That, that goes in there. That's going to be fun. So I am going to have to cut this. Glad I decided to go ahead and start on this because I was going to get this done. Okay. So let's first start off. I'm going to have to cut both ends. That's probably because these are mass produced, which is fine, but then you have to make them fit your tub. So let's just say. Put this in place. I feel like I'm gonna cut right in here. Underside. So now I'm going to install my floor drain, which is right here. And after I install the floor drain, I'm going to attach the drain piece I just cut to it. So these drains and the same here, um, they have a nice little rubber flange of some sort that kind of fits right in there. And then this will go underneath here. And that's what really seals this whole thing. So you want to make sure you get that lined up correctly. And then we'll screw that down. I can figure out where I put my screw. There it is. So before I tighten my drain completely down, I'm going to go ahead and install my exterior pipe here, which slides in. I'll loosely put that on and then kind of make sure that everything's going to fit here. Okay, so with that piece on, and again, I have this so I can move it slightly, um, I'm going to go ahead and install this top one. So take that off. And 
the washer with our rubber seal on. This top one appears to be the right height. This bottom one I'm going to have to cut down several more inches to fit it in that drain. Okay, so I've got all my plumbing done here. Um, one thing is that I ran into a problem with is that the drain line you have to uh, cut to fit. I think I ended up a little small after being a little big a couple times, but it's on there um, pretty snug and tight. The screw that goes in here and the screw at the bottom, they're both a little long. The one at the bottom is okay because it's just going to go straight down, but the one up here was too long. I had to go find my own bolt. Um, luckily I had a machine screw that would fit there. So took care of that situation, but um, if you're wondering why your screw won't go in here, could be that it's too long. Again, bath of distinction, um, they produce a tub and then they offer the hardware as part of the package, but the hardware is kind of a universal hardware kit, so you have to make it fit. And uh, the bolts were an issue that I ran into because this tub is probably a little thinner than um, than what some of the other tubs are, especially the wrought iron ones. This is also the hotel collection, it's a very small tub, so um, <clears throat> that definitely was an issue. I don't like the fact that my screw that I used doesn't exactly match the tub. We'll see if Shauna notices. If she does, then we'll go to the store and find another one. Put it in there. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It has uh, some big round uh, bolts with a flat kind of washer side. And it also has some like tensioner washers that you put in there and as you tighten it down, um, they become very tense so it doesn't move. The rest of this I had assembled before so I couldn't really explain it to you but the directions were pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Um, it's, it's a very basic little setup so it is nice though. I do like the look of it. Um, now my next step that I have to do is move this tub over the plumbing that I have down on the floor, and then I can hook up the, um, the water lines and the drain line to the tub from underneath. So I'm gonna have to go get Shauna because I can't move this tub by myself. It is a pretty heavy tub. I'm gonna go ahead and just slide these down a bit so that I don't get damaged by anything, hopefully. And then after we get the tub in place, I'll just slide those back up to place and these will just screw onto the bottom of my faucets there. Nice, you can't step in any of the grass spots, is that what you said? Um, it'd be better if you didn't, but it's probably okay at this point. So pipes. I'm trying. Jimmy, help on the side. Yeah. 